Welcome back, Brick fans, to this brand new series based around my journey through the Star Wars Factions RPG or role-playing game. We'll jump into the LEGO build very soon, but just briefly for those that aren't aware of LEGO RPGs or how they work, basically you join a group of people that create builds that tell stories, and then those stories tie into an overall storyline, uh, and as a player you earn experience points. In the case of Star Wars Factions, you also earn points for your faction, uh, which helps you control planets as you move around the galaxy. This particular build was my first for Star Wars Factions and is for Episode 1 of Season 2 and is called Voices of the Galaxy. Where basically you had to create a build showing your faction's delegates getting ready for a meeting of the New Republic Senate. The followers of the Force are my faction and they have chosen the political centre of none other than the homeworld of Padme Amidala, Jar Jar and Shivi Palpatine himself the beautiful planet of Naboo. Now, this is set after the events of Return of the Jedi, so I knew I wanted to build something which referenced the Battle of Naboo from The Phantom Menace, so I decided to build this ceremonial meeting place. This build is littered with Easter eggs, uh, none more memorable than the ever-glowing peace orb that Boss Nass holds up at the end of The Phantom Menace. The other features include two statues of Boss Nass and Queen Amidala herself in the celebration garb, and then a couple of reminders from either side of the battle in The Phantom Menace. Firstly, the Gungan shield used by the forces on the plains of Naboo, and then also the hat uh, of Captain Panaka and the Royal Security Guards who helped infiltrate the palace and nab that pesky Viceroy Newt Gunray. As for the current story, it's driven by Representative Nyala there, who will be a recurring character that you'll see throughout my journey. But uh, right there, she's uh, waiting alongside her R2 unit and the Mayor of Theed uh, for the approaching Gunga representatives prior to them making their way to Chandrilla, which is where the meeting for the New Republic is being held. As for the build, technically uh, and visually, it was very different from the other builds that I've done uh, in that I had to make it look pretty versus grungy and a bit ugly. Uh, so that was a bit of a challenge for me just at first to get the design aesthetics sorted out. Uh, and then it's actually the first time I've ever used a black border, uh, which I think kept the, buildy, the build very kind of neat and clean, which is exactly what I was going for in this one. Uh, I'd love to hear what your guys' thoughts are on my first Star Wars Factions build, so please leave some comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. Your support is greatly appreciated and really helps to get more fans involved with the channel. And of course, if you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the notifications bell so you don't miss out on the next chapter of Star Wars Factions or any of the other custom LEGO content I have coming out in the future. So that pretty much wraps up the first episode of Star Wars Factions, A Brick Mad Journey. I will be looking at doing kind of these as a monthly thing, so like once a month I'll bring out a Star Wars Factions in between all of the Building Bar 2 videos that I'll be bringing out and updates. Uh, I'll also be having a live this week again, so please stay tuned for that one. And until next time, enjoy your building and may the bricks be with you.